By adjusting the OTT, you can have all the sensitivity in the beginning of the travel and not affect the rest of the stroke. So to adjust the OTT, you need a five millimeter Allen key. So go ahead and insert that five mil. Now to make the fork more sensitive, make clockwise rotations. Now that's to make it more sensitive off the top. If you're a lighter rider, you're already using a lower air pressure. You don't need as much OTT. So you can back it all the way off. There are 14 full rotations on this OTT adjustment. To give you a good example of how to set up your fork, you wanna start with your air pressure. So let's say you're 180 pounds. So you're using about 125 to 130 PSI in your fork. You wanna work with that to make sure you're not bottoming. So let's say you're using your six full rotations of OTT and you notice that your hands are hurting. You're able to achieve your full travel, but your hands are kind of aching. So what you wanna do is add more rotations of OTT. If you're at six full rotations of OTT, just add two more rotations. Don't be shy to add maybe another one. It's only gonna to help to make the fork a little more sensitive for you. And the same goes for a heavier rider that notices his fork is diving. That most likely means you're either low on air pressure or you have way too much OTT. For a lighter rider, if you're trying to run a lot of OTT to gain sensitivity, most likely you've noticed that your fork is losing a small amount of travel. So you need to back your OTT off until you're actually showing the full length of exposure on your stanchion tubes.